Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. As we have some uh, little bit notion about uh, the verbs and verb patterns that we uh, learn in the transformation of sentence. Hope so. Uh, last two or three uh, weeks uh, we spent over the transformation of sentence, and uh, we know very well about what is the transformation and what is what does it work or how it works. Now today in today lecture we will discuss some of the causative verbs in English. What is a causative verb? First of all, we define the things uh, that cause someone or something to be happened, and we after that we will learn the most. Uh, a common causative verb that uh, are being used in our day-to-day -day language. First of all, uh, what is a causative verb? In English verb, let, make, have, get, and help are called causative verb because they cause something or someone else to happen. Here are some specific examples of how causative verb work in English sentences. Or before moving toward, uh, before moving to that examples again. Uh, I want to express the definition of that causative verb. The causative verbs are the verbs that cause someone or something to happen or to be happened. ये वो verbs होते हैं जो मजबूर करते हैं या कोई वजह बनाते हैं या बनते हैं किसी person या किसी चीज के लिए उस action को करने या करवाने के लिए. Sometimes in a person होता है where we where, where someone is performing an action. The first thing that where we have to perform an action that is being considered as an subject. But uh, after that, we have some many other cause to whom we want to express and to whom we want to uh, make him uh, compulsion to do some uh, task. Sometimes uh, we, as as we know, sometimes we want to make a work from other people and we want to get a work from other people. Just like I want to uh, get haircut, so that definitely I I'm not capable enough to uh, cut my hair myself. Uh, it's it's mean I want to cut my hair uh, hair haircut from uh, other uh, other ones, or if we want to make our room clean, so definitely I am not capable enough to clean my room uh, myself uh, in day to day life. That my uh, and uh, we utilize someone or we hire someone to uh, make my room clean. If 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 the process all the processes where we utilize some task from other people's and where some things uh, being caused to happen someone else in uh, easy uh, easy words agar hum kisi person se koi kaam karwana chahte hain to definitely ek subject hota hai jo kaam karta hai lekin sometimes aisa hota hai we want to make work from other people's jab hum dusre logon se kaam karwate hain jab hum dusre logon se kaam karwate hain definitely that cause something to someone wo purpose wo task और वो एस्पेक्ट्स जहां पर हमें किसी से काम लेना पड़ता है या हम किसी से काम करवाते हैं दैट इज कंसीडर्ड एज अ कॉजिटिव वर्ब ऑल द सिचुएशन और द कंडीशंस जहां पर हमें किसी से या किसी चीज से या किसी लोग से या किसी पर्सन से हमें काम करवाना पड़ता है हम जानते हैं कि हम इसे काम करवा सकते हैं तो दैट मेक द कॉज फॉर दैट स्पेसिफिक पर्पस सो कॉजिटिव वर्ब्स आर द वर्ब दैट मेक द कॉज Uh, that make the cause for somebody or something to do any action. Let's move on. First one, how to utilize causative verbs in our day-to-day -day language. First one, the let. Let is being utilized where we have to get permission or where we want to get per, uh, permit for any task or any uh, type of in information where we want to get. Let's see the examples. I don't let my kids watch violent movies. I don't let my kids watch violent movie. In this sentence, the subject is not in the process to being doing something or to be done something work. Just like a subject is not the direct performer, or here he is doing an act or over the other uh, things. जस्ट लाइक वो काम कर नहीं रहा वो काम करवा रहा है तो जब वेयर वी वॉन्ट टू गेट वर्क फ्रॉम अदर पीपल दैट इज कंसिडर्ड एज ए पॉजिटिव वर्क आई डोंट लेट माई किड्स वॉच वायलेंट मूवीज मैरिज फादर वॉन्ट लेट माई सिस्टर अडोप्टी बिकॉज शी अलर्जिक टू डॉग्स यहाँ पर मैरिज के जो फादर हैं वो मेरी सिस्टर को एक डॉग अडोप्ट नहीं करने दे रहे अब यहाँ पर मेरी सिस्टर डॉग को अडॉप्ट नहीं कर रही लेकिन वो करवाने नहीं दे रहे मतलब देर इज सम वन 
हु बिकम्स द काज टू डिनाई और टू हैपन द समथिंग स्पेसिफिक यहां पर एक पर्सन नहीं है जो डायरेक्टली इनकार कर रहा है लेकिन यहां पे कोई वजह है जो उसके इनकार की वजह बन रही है यहां पर जो आप कह लें कि अली एक कुत्ता अडॉप्ट करना चाहता है एक डॉग अडॉप्ट करना चाहता है लेकिन मैं नहीं चाहता कि अली वो डॉग अडॉप्ट करे मैं नहीं चाहता कि अली डॉग को अडॉप्ट करे तो यहाँ पर मैं उसके लिए वजह हूँ तो ये काज बन जाएगी अगेन ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड एग्जाम्पल्स आर बॉस डजेंट लेस लेट अस ईट लंच एट आर डेस्क डेफिनेटली जो हमारे बॉस हैं वो हमें अपने टेबल पर खाना नहीं खाने देंगे बट वी वॉन्ट टू ईट एट दैट हम खाना चाह रहे हैं लेकिन वो खाना नहीं देंगे We have to eat in the cafeteria. हमें कैफेटेरिया जाना पड़ेगा आप कैसे टीचर के टेबल पर बैठ कर खाना खा सकते हो नहीं खा सकते कभी नहीं खा सकते लिहाजा मतलब कि आपको कोई चीज काज कर रही है कोई रीजन बन रही है उन रीजन को जब सामने रखेंगे उन काजेस को सामने रखेंगे तो वी यूटिलाइज वर्ब कास्टिव वर्ब एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर टू लर्न द लेट जस्ट एज ए काजिटिव वर्ब Ops, I wasn't paying attention while I was cooking, and I let the food burn. Please don't let the cat drink all the milk. Again, कि यहाँ पर वो बिल्ली को या cat को मना करना चाह रहा है, वो खुद नहीं कर रहा, वो बता रहा है अगली persons को. Imperative sentence में statements बता रहा है कि इसे बस सारा दूध मत पीने देना. मतलब वो खुद भी कह सकता है, वो खुद भी बिल्ली को रोक सकता है, खुद भी cat को रोक सकता है. लेकिन he uh, doesn't. Uh, who want to uh, to do uh, that task directly but he wants to perform that specific task by anyone else lehaza wo khud nahi karna cha raha wo kisi se karwana cha raha hai to here the first one let is being used what is the most important aspect regarding let remember the past tense of let is also let if we want to make a sentence in 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 past and past tense or in the previous aspect of uh, the era we can utilize let let is also used in the same form there is no change there is no uh, formatic change there is no verbal change the verbs allow and permit are more formal ways to say let however with allow and permit we use two plus verb just like i don't allow my kids to watch violent movies our boss doesn't permit us to eat lunch at our home or we can also convert these sentences into past just i didn't allow my kids to watch violent movie here i convert present indefinite into past indefinite while utilizing the sense or the sentence of the word or let i don't allow my kids to uh, watch uh, violent movies our boss didn't permit us to eat lunch at our own movie but again here the word let and uh, let is converted into two plus verb uh, we can utilize allow and permit in permit in replace to to after that we have another uh, causative verb that is force or require someone to take an actions make make is a verb that force or requires someone to take an action yahan par make jo hai ye require karta hai मजबूर करता है अगले पर्सन को काम करने के लिए जैसे कि लेट इस्तेमाल किया जाता है परमिशन के लिए इजाजत के लिए मेक इस्तेमाल किया जाता है कि अगले पर्सन से हम चाहते हैं कि हम कोई काम करवाएं या हम रिक्वायर करना चाहते हैं हम रिक्वायर करते हैं डिमांड करते हैं या हम चाहते हैं कि हम उस पर्सन को फोर्स करें जस्ट लाइक अगर हम ऑनर्स हैं तो डेफिनेटली हम फोर्स करेंगे और अगर हम आप कहें किसी स्टेटस पे हैं तो हम डिमांड करते हैं रिक्वायर करते हैं Let's move on toward the examples. After Billy broke the neighbor's window, after Billy broke the neighbor's window, his parents made him pay for it. His parents made him for pay for it. उसके बाले दिन ने उसे मजबूर कर दिया अदा करने के लिए. My ex-boyfriend loved sci-fi and made me watch every episode of his favorite show. It's mean. my ex boyfriend do not my boyfriend it's it's just an example my ex boyfriend love sci fi and made me watch every episode of his favorite movie just like i i have an other examples uh, we want to make him a chairman we want to make him a chairman hum use banate hain chairman so again the word make is uh, being used just as uh, as an as an causative verb 
the rest of uh, example that we have the teachers made all the students rewrite this their papers teachers made all the students rewrite their papers because the first draft were not acceptable again do remember let is being used uh, just in order to get permission and make is used where we have to force or where we want to require someone to take an action are you getting my point what are the mo most important things that are uh, or that should be known while utilizing the word make we be using the verb uh, require and force we must use two plus verb if uh, the school requires the student to wear uniform again the schools require the students to wear uh, uniform require often implies that there is a role again uh, make uh, or requires and force also considered in the in the presence of the make the hijacker forced the politics to take the plane in the uh, different direction again force requires and make um, three these three verbs uh, are being used as a causative verb but uh, make uh, make is uh, make, make can be replaced by utilizing requires and force as we learn in in the definition of the make make is used where we want to force or where we want to require so make uh, can be replaced by force or can be either be replaced by force or either or requires uh, requires and force and makes can be replaced by one and other after that, we have uh, another example of the verb, uh, causative verb, just like have, uh, give someone else uh, uh, the responsibility to do something. First one, we learn the let, let where we want to get permission. After that, we have uh, the little bit uh, about uh, the word uh, make, make there we are being forced or where we want to force and require someone to, to do someone, someone uh, our task. And in, in at third level, we have uh, the verb causative verb just like like have, or we can utilize the, this verb have in our day to day conversation where we want to uh, respond or we where we want to be responsible for something or some uh, for someone's or it is being used where the responsibility is necessary. Let is uh, utilized where the permission is necessary, and make is utilized where the a force or requirements is is necessary and have is utilized where the responsibility of anything or any persons is uh, is, is is necessary i've uh, let's move on to the first example just like uh, example structure number one have plus person plus verb plus base form base form is mean the first form of the verb first move form is also considered as a root word just like uh, when we have to first form and second form and third form first form considered as a base form or root form it's mean uh, the first condition, the first position in the first situation of the words. Let's move on the example uh, toward the example, just like I, I will have my assistant call you to uh, reschedule the appointment. Again, uh, the word have is being utilized just to be responsible. I will have my assistant uh, call you to reduce uh, the appointment. And the second example that uh, the businessman had his secretary make copies of the report again the word had is a second or third form of the verb have you know very well we have three primary auxiliaries first one be second one uh, uh, have and third one do be uh, is uh, the part of the uh, be uh, can be divided into further deviant just like is am are was or be been being and have can be further divided into uh, has have and had had is a second or third form of the verb have again uh, do remember have is utilized where the responsibility is necessary for someone or something again first use of the let let is being utilized for permission make is being used for uh, requirements and the forcement and have is used where the responsibility is required after that Again, the example number two, uh, while having the structure of the have, have plus thing, thing just like thing, not the subject, plus verb and past participle here. Uh, in, in first structure, we utilize it as a first form in, uh, in, and in second structure, we are here to utilize the third form, just like past participle. Past participle is also considered as a 
थर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब एज यू नो फर्स्ट फॉर्म वर्ब की पहली फॉर्म को बोलते हैं और पास पार्सिपल वर्ब की थर्ड फॉर्म को कहते हैं और अगेन फर्स्ट स्ट्रक्चर जब हम इस्तेमाल करेंगे वहां पर हम वर्ब का फर्स्ट पैटर्न इट्स मीन वहां पर हम वर्ब की फर्स्ट फॉर्म को यूटिलाइज करेंगे और जब हम वर्ब का सेकेंड पैटर्न इस्तेमाल करेंगे तो वहां पर हम वर्ब की थर्ड फॉर्म को यूटिलाइज करेंगे अगेन I am going to have my hair cut tomorrow. My hair cut. I am going to have my hair cut. Again, have. I am going to have plus thing my hair and verb cut. Tomorrow cut 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 cut. Tomorrow I am going to have my hair cut. Again, have. I am going to have plus thing my hair and verb cut. Tomorrow cut 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 cut. Tomorrow I am going to have my hair cut. Again, have. I am going to have plus thing my hair and verb cut. Tomorrow cut 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 cut. Tomorrow I am going to have my hair cut. Again, have. I am going to have plus thing my hair and verb cut. Tomorrow cut 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 cut. Tomorrow I am going to have my hair cut. Again, have. I am going to have plus thing my hair and verb cut. Again, the rest uh, of the examples as we have. Uh, the second one is we are having our house painted this weekend. We are having our house painted this weekend. We are having our house painted this weekend. Again, having is a form of again the verb have while using the. Uh, gerund or participle or and painted is again the past participle in third example bob had his teeth whitened his smile looks great bob had his teeth whitened his smile looks great my washing machine is broken i need to have it repaired remember uh, in information speech we often use get in these cases and sometimes we replace get to have and have to get hum get ki jagah par have bhi istemal kar sakte hain aur have ki jagah par get bhi istemal kar sakte hain it's mean we have some replacement for have and get get can be replaced with have and have can be get with replace i am going to get my hair cut tomorrow we are getting our house painted this weekend uh, bob got his teeth uh, whitened his smile looks great my washing machine is broken i need to get it repaired again get can be replaced with hair got can be replaced by had and getting can be replaced by having or get can be replaced by have so uh, simply in simple words we can replace get to Have. हम हैव को गेट से रिप्लेस कर सकते हैं और गेट को हैव से रिप्लेस कर सकते हैं चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं हम आगे बढ़ते हैं हम आगे क्या कहता है फिर कहते हैं कि मोस्टली वी यूटिलाइज गेट जस्ट इन ऑर्डर टू कन्विंस और इनकरेज समन टू डू सम और मोस्ट बेसिकली हम इनकरेजमेंट के लिए हम गेट को इस्तेमाल करते हैं हैव जब हम इस्तेमाल करते हैं हम रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी के लिए इस्तेमाल करते हैं मेक हम रिक्वायरमेंट और फोर्समेंट के लिए इस्तेमाल करते हैं लेट हम परमिशन के लिए इस्तेमाल करते हैं लिहाजा जो हम गेट को इस्तेमाल करते हैं वी आर वी हैव टू कन्वेंस समन और सम बॉडी इन दिस रिस्पेक्ट टू टू डू आवर टास्क इन फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल हाउ कैन वी गेट ऑल द एम्प्लॉयज टू अराइव ऑन टाइम here the word get is being used just in order to convince or encourage or someone or something hum again yahan par get ko hum tab istemal karte hain jab hame kisi cheez ko ya kisi person ko convince karna padta hai ya hum me kisi ko force karna padta force to nahi keh sakte hum simply keh rahe hain ki hum jab hame kisi ko encourage karna padta hai ya convince karna padta hai tab hum get ko bhi utilize karte hain my husband hates housework not my husband just an example uh, my husband hates housework i can never get him to wash this dishes i can never get him to wash his the dishes especially uh, it it is being understood by the female students and uh, the girls are being responsible to uh, chew out the meaning of this specific sentence my husband hates housework i can never get him to wash the dishes again get is being used uh, just in order to convince and in order to convince us or someone in uh, rest of the example that we have i was nervous about eating about my brother got me to try it at a japanese restaurant sometimes my brother got me to try got me to try or my brother got me to try again we have 
the word God just for uh, the convince or just for uh, to encourage for someone. The last causative word that we have uh, in our today lecture that is uh, the word help. Help uh, assist someone in doing something or uh, help as we considered uh, the meaning of the word help or it is also considered as the uh, just as, as the uh, aim or as the target of the assistant of the word. After help you can use to or not both uh, ways are correct. In general the form without to is more common. He helped me carry the box. He helped me to carry the box. But if we want to use the most common pattern, we have to utilize help while using the bare infinitive. Bare infinitive just like without to. It means the first example, he helped me carry the boxes. It's, it's, it's more appropriate than uh, he helped me to carry the boxes. Reading before bed or reading before bed helps me relax or reading before bed helps me to relax. Again, uh, here the help is, if you help the bare infinitive, ko karte hai, to that will make you a good sense. Or if you don't help the bare infinitive, nahi lagate, direct infinitive, laga dete ho, to it's um, less common than the bare infinitive. Let's move on the rest of the structures and the reviewing the grammatical structure of the all five uh, things that we have uh, in our today lecture. Uh, the grammatical structures where we have to form a function or the transformation of a sentence, how we can transform a sentence or how we can build or make a pattern of uh, the causative verbs. So uh, let's we have uh, seven pattern of the causative verbs. We have seven patterns of the causative verbs uh, that is uh, that are being written in front uh, of this uh, uh, that are being written in front of you. Uh, first one if we want to make uh, the, uh, the use of a causative verb let, then we can utilize the grammatical structure of let plus person or things plus verb base form. It means let ke saath hum person or things ke saath verb ki first form is karte hain. Or if we want to utilize the word make as a causative verb, the first one make, uh, after that we have person or after that we have verb base form. There is a one thing uh, that is common in all the causative verbs or that is person or things. Try to uh, take a look over the let, make, have, have, get, help, help. All these, after all these uh, five causative verbs, there is a person or things. There is a person or things. There is a person or things. It means necessary to have a person or things. Necessary. Necessary to have a person of or a things after uh, the causative verb. Causative verb ke fauri baad person ka aana bohat zaroori hai. Aur jab, jab tak causative verb ke fauri baad person ya thing nahi aayega to humara purpose jo hai wo causative ka clear nahi hoga. To hume kya dekhna hai isme se? Uh, let uh, plus persons ki jab hum baat karte hain let plus person or things plus verb ki base form jaise uh, let him or let things uh, to be done to hum aise bhi keh sakte hain or make person or plus verb I, I want to make him or uh, Hostage. I want to make him hostage. Yahan par make him, for him, jo hai yahan par person, but then hostage. Our pass again. Verb ke tarpe istemal ho jayega. So again, uh, have plus person plus verb base form. Base form. Uh, Jaise ki aap samjhte hain ki base form ye first form of verb hai. Verb ki first form hai. Usse hum first form ke tarpe hi consider karte hain. Base form ko sometimes we also call it a root form uh, or uh, the first form of the verb. After that, having have plus thing plus past participle have ke two patterns hai. Hamar pas ek uh, verb ke saath istemal hota hai aur ek past past participle ke saath istemal hota hai. As we learned that have can be utilized with the first form of verb or have also can be utilized with the third form of the verb. Past participle mean third form of the verb and that is being utilized as a as an adjective. Get uh, plus person plus two plus verb. Uh, again, the uh, verb here per person get ke saath istemal ho raha hai. Ye bhi base form ke taur pe istemal ho raha hai. Aap ise aap simply kya sakte hain ye base form hai. Again, help plus person plus verb uh, plus base form. Again, help base form ke saath istemal ho raha hai. Help plus person plus two plus base form. Or again, hamar pas ye verb ke base form hai. Lehaza just without have we have all the verbs having the base form of the verb. When we talk about the causative verb, we have most common uh, five causative verbs, let, make, have, get and help. And these are the causative verbs that utilize uh, the person uh, and they, they also utilize the base from the verbs. 
so as uh, in today lecture we uh, discuss uh, discuss the causative verb causative verb is a verb that cause uh, something or somebody to uh, to do something or to do or uh, something definitely or we have five uh, items first one let second one hamare paas make and third one hamare paas make here when fourth one hamare paas jo hai wo aap keh lo ki get and fifth one hamare paas help hai aur ye uh, हमारे आज के लेक्चर्स था अभी अगेन याद रखें कि जब हम काजिटिव वर्ब को इस्तेमाल करते हैं तो काजिटिव वर्ब को इस्तेमाल करने के लिए ये जरूरी है कि आपके पास कोई काज हो कोई वजह हो इस वर्ब को इस्तेमाल करने की वो कौन सी वर्ज हो सकती है काजिज फर्स्ट वन लेट हम परमिशन की काज हो सकती है मेक में हम फोर्समेंट और रिक्वायरमेंट की काज हो सकती है हैव में आप कह लो कि रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी की वजह हो सकती है काज हो सकती है गेट में आप कह लो कि यहाँ पर भी रिस्पॉन्सिबल हो सकते हो लेकिन यहाँ पर आप फोर्समेंट या इनकरेजमेंट की भी कार्ड काज हो सकती है और हेल्प भी एड करने की या किसी को हेल्प करने की काज भी हो सकती है तो एवरी वर्ब हैज इट्स ऑन काज दैट काज हिम टू मेक अटेंस ये उसकी वही वजह होती है जो उसके लिए वजह बनती है सेंटेंस को बनाने के लिए इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क ऑन आवर और एच आवर व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप्स और सो थैंक यू फॉर दिस ओके टेक केयर अल्लाह